The English East India Company was established in 1600. It started as a trading company in India and very soon was able to establish a factory in Masulipatnam in the eastern coast of India in 1611. It was not at all a sudden, but it was a process. With the passage of time, the English East India Company started ruling the country. The Indian Mutiny of 1857 to 1859 was a widespread but unsuccessful rebellion against the rule of British East India Company in India, which functioned as a sovereign power on behalf of the British Crown. Many important leaders participated in the revolt against the British from different cities of India. with the 1857 revolt are as follows. Mangal Pandey from Bharatpur, Rani Lakshmibai from Jhansi, Jantya Tok from Kanpur, the guerrilla warrior who terrified General Vindan, Begum Hasrat Mahal from Lucknow, one of the first female freedom fighters. On 7 June 1893, M.K. Gandhi, later known as the Mahatma or Great Soul, who was working as a young Indian lawyer, refused to comply with racial segregation on a South African train. He was forcibly removed from a white only carriage on a train in Peter Maritzburg for not obeying laws that segregated each carriage according to race. in Jaganwala Bagh, a garden in Amritsar to celebrate the Baisakhi festival. General Dyer entered the garden, blocked its entrance and fired upon thousands of innocents including women and children. <laughs> by the Jalinwala Bagh massacre decided to launch the non-cooperation movement. Mahatma Gandhi embarked on the historic salt march. Gandhi believed that salt was the one item that could launch a mass movement 
against British rule in the country. Eighty-nine years after the British crown occupied India, our motherland attained freedom at midnight, just as the clock ticked 12 on August 15, 1947. Jawaharlal Nehru became the first Prime Minister of India. Jawaharlal Nehru delivered the speech just with destiny on the eve of India's independence towards midnight on 14 August 1947. A moment comes, which comes but rarely in victory. When we step out from the old to the new, when an age ends, and when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance, it is fitting that at this solemn moment we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and her people and to the still larger cause of humanity. Our respects to those great souls.